morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. Melissa, and it's Tuesday, November 5th. Oh boy, it's election day. You'll be interested to know. 84 years ago, today in 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt was elected to an unprecedented third term as President of the United States marking a significant moment in American history as he became the first president to serve more than two terms, reflecting the nation's desire for continued leadership during the challenging times of the Great Depression and World War II. So now you know. And now, it's time for the Surf Report. Expect chest to shoulder high, west northwest, ground swell on Tuesday morning with glassy conditions and light, offshore winds becoming semi-choppy in the afternoon. On Wednesday and Thursday, expect knee to thigh high west-northwest swell with glassy mornings and semi-choppy afternoons. Tuesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking clean at three to five feet until 11. After that, it's choppy until four, but it should turn fair for a sunset session. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with a four-foot incoming mid-tide when the east swell is two feet at 17 seconds and the offshore wind is three mile per hour. The first high tide Tuesday will be five and a half foot at 10 a.m. with a zero foot low tide at six. The near shore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 63 degrees for the water temperature. This morning it's sunny and feels like 52 degrees with eight mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 4.53 and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.11. It looks like we're in for a sunny Tuesday with temperatures reaching near 73 and a light southwest breeze. Tonight, expect some patchy fog after 10 with partly cloudy skies, a low of 52, and gentle winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect mostly sunny skies on Wednesday with patchy fog in the morning at a high near 75. Clear nights follow with lows around 52. Thursday and Friday will also be sunny with highs near 70 and 71, respectively. Nights will be mostly clear with lows around 50. Saturday remains sunny with a high near 69. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, tribes in California are advocating for three new national monuments aiming to restore control of lands to indigenous peoples. Donald Medard Jr., a member of the Fort Yuma Quechan Indian tribe, emphasizes the need to protect their ancestral lands from mining, which has scarred the landscape. Their proposal, the Quetzal National Monument, seeks to designate 390,000 acres along the Colorado River as protected land, allowing for co-management with the federal government. This initiative reflects a broader movement to return lands to indigenous communities, acknowledging historical injustices and promoting cultural preservation. Now on to sports. On Monday Night Football, the unbeaten Kansas City Chiefs edged the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 30-24 in a rain-soaked thriller. Patrick Mahomes threw for 291 yards and three touchdowns, including a decisive overtime drive capped by Kareem Hunt's two-yard plunge. DeAndre Hopkins dazzled with two touchdowns, while Baker Mayfield's late heroics for Tampa Bay forced overtime. Travis Kelsey shined with 14 catches, 
as Kansas City extended their winning streak to 14. In local sports. Last night, the Lakers fell to the Pistons 115 to 103 at Little Caesars Arena. Kate Cunningham's triple double of 17 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists propelled Detroit to victory. Anthony Davis shone for the Lakers with 37 points and 13 rebounds. Tomorrow night, the Lakers, with a 4-3 record, take on the Memphis Grizzlies, who are 4-4. Four four. The action unfolds at FedEx Forum. Tonight, the Los Angeles Kings secured a dominant 3-0 victory over the Nashville Predators at Bridgestone Arena. Darcy Kumper was stellar making 16 saves for his 32nd career shutout. Anz Kopitar opened the scoring, while Kevin Fiala and Adrian Kemp sealed the win. The Kings, now 7-3-3, and showcased impressive team play, leaving the Predators at 4-7-1. and In top news, Savencia Cheese USA, has voluntarily recalled a selection of brie cheeses due to potential listeria contamination. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration reported that six varieties of brie may have been affected after listeria monocytogenes was found in processing equipment. Retailers, including Aldi and Market Basket, are removing the products from shelves in states such as Indiana, Missouri, and Massachusetts. Consumers are advised to return any recalled brie with a best buy date of December 24th, 2024 for a full refund. Fortunately, there have been no reported illnesses linked to these products. In business news, in an unfair labor practice complaint, the National Labor Relations Board has accused Apple of suppressing employee discussions regarding confidentiality, pay equity, and wrongful termination. The complaint alleges that Apple pressured engineer, Sure Scarlett, to quit after she circulated an online survey about wages and faced reprisals for discussing workplace discrimination. Apple has denied these claims, stating, we strongly disagree with these claims. The board is seeking a court order for Apple to post employee rights notices, conduct training, reinstate Scarlett, and apologize. This marks the third recent complaint against the company regarding labor practices. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $68,700. Ethereum is just over $2,400. And Goatseus Maximus is nearing 49 cents. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Nuclear fusion, the powerhouse of the universe, has stumped scientists for decades. An expert claims, if we figure out how to harness this effectively and efficiently, this is it. Fusion occurs when light nuclei, such as hydrogen, combine to form heavier isotopes like helium, releasing vast energy. With billions invested globally, private companies are racing to commercialize fusion, exploring methods like magnetic and inertial confinement. Recently, scientists achieved a breakthrough at the National Ignition Facility, producing more energy than input. The future of fusion energy promises a clean, limitless solution, but significant advancements in materials are still required. Entertainment news. Daniel Craig believes the Knives Out franchise deserves a more substantial presence in theaters. 
he hopes Netflix will extend the theatrical release of the upcoming third installment, officially titled Wake Up Dead Man, a Knives Out mystery beyond the one week given to the last Knives Out movie. In an interview with Variety, Craig expressed his desire for fans to have the opportunity to enjoy the film in cinemas with their families. The first Knives Out movie was a blockbuster, grossing $312 million worldwide. Wake Up Dead Man is set for release in 2025. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American journalist and broadcaster, Walter Cronkite. And he said, there is no such thing as a little freedom. Either you are all free or you are not free. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.